the arrogance of man is thinking nature is in our control and not the other way around. Let them fight. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most epic creature clashes on the big screen. We're only considering fights with at least one monster. No robot versus robot fights for this list. This is your spoiler warning. Run! Get up! You gotta move! Number 30 T Rex versus Giganotosaurus, Jurassic World Dominion. Sure, the human drama in this franchise can be entertaining, but what most viewers are here for is the dino versus dino action. This isn't about us. Watching these two colossal beasts try to tear each other to pieces as our heroes scurry out of the way was by far the most heart pounding part of this movie. And we have to admit, we were pretty devastated when we thought Rexy was dead. She has become something of a cinematic icon after all. <laughs> the arrival of the Therizinosaurus kicks things up another notch, and together, they make quick work of the Giganotosaurus. <laughs> Number 29, Mr. Hyde vs. Dante, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. This movie wasn't everyone's cup of tea, but you have to admit it has some pretty epic fight sequences. Just like in the original novel, Henry Jekyll drinks a potion to transform into Mr. Hyde, but this version of Hyde is a massive, hulking monster. The villain gets a hold of Jekyll's formula and starts reproducing it, and one of his henchmen gulps down a huge dose of the stuff. He and Hyde then go toe-to-toe -to -toe as the building crumbles around them. What is that thing? It's me on a bad day. Captain Nemo does his best to help his friend, but ultimately, it's a twist of fate that enables the heroes to escape with their lives. Number 28, Scorpions vs. Tentacle Worm, The Black Scorpion. Aside from a few scuffles between scorpions, there's only one real monster on monster battle in this movie, and it's well worth the wait. The scorpions are huge and horrifying, and the excellent stop motion animation makes their movements super creepy. When the protagonists discover the scorpion's underground nest, they're treated to a disturbing sight as the arachnids fight and kill a tentacled worm that's as big as they are. The battle is gruesome and the sound effects are truly chilling. Just as a scorpion is about to feast on its prey, it finds itself on the wrong end of the stinger of an even bigger competitor. Be the granddaddy of them all. Number 27, Mega Kaiju vs. Jaegers, Pacific Rim Uprising. When interdimensional sea monsters start wreaking havoc on humanity, there's really only one thing to do build massive robots piloted by humans to combat them. Okay, we're going with giant robots again. All right, real original, guys. After the first film ended in spectacular fashion, fans wondered whether or not Pacific Rim Uprising could deliver an equally epic final battle. All skepticism went out the window with the introduction of the Mega Kaiju. This abomination is three kaiju rolled into one, held together by thousands of robotic parasites. Powerful beyond belief, it managed to destroy three Jaegers before finally being taken down by Gypsy Avenger. Number 26, Sanda vs. Gaira, The War of the Gargantuas. 
Old school Japanese monster movies had a bit of a weird fascination with Frankenstein, or more specifically, Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> Two humongous versions of the monster meet in this film. Sanda, who was raised by humans before escaping into the mountains as a baby, and Gaida, a clone of Sanda who evolved in the ocean. At first, it looks like the two will be buddies, but Sanda is furious when he finds out that Gaida has been attacking and eating people. The pair faces off, with the military determined to kill both of them. It's a unique take on the kaiju genre that has gained quite the cult following. Number 25, Abomination vs. Hulk, The Incredible Hulk. Use that thing, Saul, to give him some help! Which one? Help the green one, damn it! Which one do you think cut the other one in half? After being injected with Bruce Banner's blood, Emil Blonsky turns into the Abomination, a monstrous creature hell-bent on destroying the Hulk. The two wind up duking it out in Harlem, destroying large portions of the New York City neighborhood. initially outmatched due to Abomination's overwhelming size and strength, the Hulk gets creative, using a variety of makeshift weapons to turn the tide and ultimately defeat the villain. A slugfest from start to finish, we could watch these two indestructible monsters battle it out all day long. Number 24, Godzilla vs. Zilla. Godzilla Final Wars. Short and sweet, that is the best way to describe this monster battle. In a moment of cinematic vengeance, the original Japanese Godzilla takes on its American counterpart, as seen in Roland Emmerich's 1998 Godzilla film. The latter was heavily criticized upon release for its lack of resemblance to the original, and in Godzilla Final Wars, the original gets its revenge. Godzilla chucks Zilla into the Sydney Opera House before finishing it off with an atomic blast. The entire fight lasts less than a minute, and serves as a fitting end to one of the most despised versions of Godzilla ever created. Number 23, The Stone Giants Fight, The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. <laughs> In this prolonged trilogy based on Tolkien's beloved novel, Peter Jackson found room to turn the book's brief reference to stone giants into a high-stakes action sequence. This is no thunderstorm, it's a thunder battle! Well, at least it is dramatic. High up in the Misty Mountains, Bilbo and company witness stone giants engaged in a deadly game of dodgeball. Giants! Stone giants! The behemoths chuck enormous boulders at each other during a thunderstorm, heedless of the cowering party below. Although the book described the monsters as having a good time and guffawing, this scene seems more like a full-on battle. Where's Bilbo? Where's the Hobbit? Number 22, Allosaurus vs. Brontosaurus, The Lost World. Before he worked on the original King Kong, special effects artist Willis O'Brien created groundbreaking stop-motion animation for The Lost World. This adaptation of the novel by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle follows a group of explorers in South America who discover a land populated by prehistoric creatures. The most dangerous of these is the Allosaurus, who spends the movie menacing all the other dinosaurs. In this famous fight, it seems like the Allosaurus has met its match in the Brontosaurus, until a crumbling cliff takes the herbivore out of the picture. The stop-motion dinos might look quaint by today's standards, but these early filmmakers paved the way for the epic monster fights we have today. Number 21, T-Rex vs. Spinosaurus, Jurassic Park 3. Poor Alan Grant is caught in the middle of a huge dino fight yet again. After crashing on Isla Sorna and narrowly escaping from the Spinosaurus, he and the group stumble upon a T-Rex feasting on a fresh kill. Nobody 
move a muscle. The Rex inexplicably leaves its meal to pursue the humans, leading to a confrontation with the larger and more powerful Spino. <laughs> The fight is short but vicious, with the Spinosaurus making quick work of the T-Rex and establishing itself as the dominant dino. Even the mediocre movies in this franchise still produce some delightfully hair-raising fight scenes. Number 20. King Kong vs. Godzilla – King Kong vs. Godzilla we have to pay homage to the first time these two titans appeared together on screen. Okay, drop him. How did King Kong end up in Japan and why is he fighting Godzilla? Does it really matter? The important thing is that we finally get to see these two titans from different worlds duking it out. <laughs> Kong is almost outmatched, as the boulders he tosses at Godzilla barely phase the giant lizard. When he gets knocked out, it seems like the fight is over. I can't tell who's winning. Can you? Not yet. Kong, hold his tail! But fortunately, an electrical storm hits at just the right moment, reviving Kong with a bolt of lightning. It might not be the best Godzilla movie or the best King Kong movie, but it is an iconic moment in cinema history. <laughs> Number 19. George vs. Ralph vs. Lizzie – Rampage You've seen a giant ape fight a giant reptile, but this is the only movie that features a three-way match that also involves a flying wolf. Of course the wolf flies. When a shady genetic engineering company accidentally exposes several wild animals to its experimental pathogen, the result is a trio of massive mutated monsters. Now it's up to George the Gorilla and The Rock to stop the other two from completely destroying Chicago before the military is forced to bomb the city. The title of this movie says it all, as once the animals reach downtown, the action and devastation are non-stop. Number 18. Griffin vs. Centaur – The Golden Voyage of Sinbad My heart is full of bravery, but I have very cowardly legs. In one corner, we have the centaur, a mythical beast that's half man, half horse, and all hate for everything good. Damn! In the other, the griffin, also half lion with the head and wings of an eagle. For a while, this guardian of good seems to have the upper hand against his one-eyed foe. However, the evil Korra doesn't play fair and decides to intervene, slicing up the griffin from behind. Ray Harryhausen's stop-motion effects hit their prime in this epic fantasy, and though the fight scene is pretty choppy at some points, the overall effect is highly impressive. It is as the Oracle foretold, the forces of good and evil battling eternally. Number 17. Kong vs. Skull Devil – Kong Skull Island The second entry in the MonsterVerse franchise, Kong Skull Island featured no shortage of epic throwdowns between the King of the Jungle and all manner of oversized opponents. His fight against the giant squid was entertaining, it was pretty one-sided. That's why we decided to go with Kong's climactic battle against the Skull Devil. This one goes down to the wire, with Kong taking his fair share of licks. It's a vicious, no-holds-barred battle between two of the nastiest monsters on Skull Island. But in the end, Kong proves he is the island's top dog. Er, ape. Number 16. Godzilla vs. Japan – Shin Godzilla 
Long before he was battling other monsters, Godzilla was battling Japan. <laughs> In this 2016 Toho Pictures reboot, Godzilla is once again pitted against the nation, wreaking havoc at sea and on land. This iteration of Godzilla is especially difficult to dispatch, as it evolves to match whatever weapons are deployed against it. Freeze the bastard! A truly epic battle ensues, with the citizens of Japan ultimately defeating the radioactive behemoth not with nuclear weapons, but with a coagulating substance that freezes it. Beneath its action exterior, Shin Godzilla is a well-directed and well-written film that's so much more than just another giant monster movie. Number 15. Godzilla, Rodan, and Mothra vs. King Ghidorah – Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster You know what they say, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Godzilla and his rivals have to put their quarrels aside in this film to save Earth from the horrifying three-headed dragon King Ghidorah. Eschewing gentlemanly rules of engagement, the three gang up on King Ghidorah all at once and pummel him. <laughs> then they go into what can only be described as a team combo. Riding on Rodan's back, Mothra sprays Ghidorah with silk while Godzilla takes the dragon's tails and throws him off a cliff. Why can't giant monsters just get along? Number 14. Hulk vs. Hulkbuster – Avengers Age of Ultron You're stronger than her. You're smarter than her. You're Bruce Banner. Yeah! Right, right, right. Don't mention puny Banner. This cinematic battle pits technology against brute strength, with Tony Stark's Hulkbuster machine squaring off against everyone's favorite big-screen rage monster. While this fight is peppered with moments of levity, Tony telling Hulk to go to sleep while punching him in the face immediately comes to mind. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. It also showcases the destructive power the Hulk possesses. The fight devastates the city of Johannesburg, with Tony's best efforts to subdue the Hulk met at every turn with a vicious reaction from his out-of-control ally. This one was fun to watch, but horrible to imagine coming to fruition. Number 13. Gamera vs. Iris – Gamera 3 – The Revenge of Iris A giant monster fueled by a young girl's rage seeks to destroy Gamera. Now that the exposition's out of the way, let's get to what we really want to see – two mega-titans taking each other on in a no-holds-barred brawl to the death. Because the title of the movie starts with the name Gamera, you can place your bets on who's going to win. Although Iris gets in some pretty good hits, Gamera is victorious with the old fiery fist technique, and all of Japan rejoices. Until more monsters show up, that is. Number 12. Tyrannosaurus Rex vs. Indominus Rex – Jurassic World The Indominus Rex, our first genetically modified hybrid. You'd think humanity would have learned by now that cloning dinosaurs is not the best idea. Alas, a new park opens in Jurassic World and scientists cook up a new dino called the Indominus Rex. She will be 50 feet long when fully grown, bigger than the T-Rex. As the Indominus breaks loose and corners our heroes, Claire calls upon the most badass dinosaur that ever lived to save the day. We need more. More what? Teeth. We need more teeth. That's right, the T-Rex. If that doesn't sound awesome enough, the filmmakers also throw a raptor into the mix for a little tag team action. The Indominus Rex bites the dust as the opportunistic Mosasaur sees dinner, restoring the natural order. Number 
Number 11. Godzilla vs. King Kong Godzilla vs. Kong This is the showdown that fans of the MonsterVerse have been waiting for. The two titans first meet in the open ocean, aka Godzilla's natural habitat, where the giant lizard has a distinct advantage. He defeats Kong easily, but fortunately, the humans are able to intervene and prevent Kong from drowning. When they face off again in downtown Hong Kong, they're on a much more equal footing. Plus, Kong now has his extremely cool atomic axe. Still, Godzilla's a powerful foe. After a brutal battle that destroys much of the neon-lit city, he comes away the victor again, leaving Kong on death's door. Number 10. Valka's Snowy Bewilderbeast vs. Drago's Muddy Bewilderbeast – How to Train Your Dragon 2 The word alpha is used pretty freely throughout this rousing sequel, and the Bewilderbeasts are just about as alpha as you can get. Surprise! Yeah! <laughs> what? This whole sequence draws comparison to a fantasy epic like The Lord of the Rings, with the Bewilderbeasts at the center of everything. The alpha. Now we have a fight. It's a battle between good and evil as the biggest of the dragons compete for the allegiance of all dragon kind. Now what do you want to do? We have to save the dragons. While the two are almost equally matched, it's the one belonging to the cruel Drago Bloodvest that ultimately reigns supreme. We've won. Now finish her! Hiccup and his friends might have lost this battle, but the war is far from over. Hold on! Skull Crusher, go! Come on, Goba! Right behind you, stoic! Number 9. Gypsy Danger vs. Otachi – Pacific Rim I think this guy's dead, but let's check for a pulse. When his brother is killed in a clash with a kaiju known as Knifehead, Jaeger pilot Raleigh Beckett is paired with a new partner to fight giant monsters. I can't pinpoint it! It's moving quick! Keep your eyes open! For their first battle, Gypsy Danger battles a monstrous, acid-spinning, winged creature dubbed Otachi. <laughs> the fight is about as grand and realistic as CGI can be, as we see these two foes destroy buildings, cars, and even a boat. Fortunately, when Gypsy Danger's pilots realize their robot comes fully equipped with a badass sword, the tables are turned and Otachi is halved mid-air. Hell yeah! <laughs> Altitude actuation off balance. 50,000 feet to ground contact. Number 8. Godzilla vs. Monster X Godzilla Final Wars. the most outlandish entries in the Godzilla franchise, Godzilla Final War sees the King of the Monsters squaring off against multiple foes. However, his final battle with Monster X is undoubtedly the most intense. Monster X is a straight-up badass, using martial arts and atomic blasts against Godzilla amidst the ruins of Tokyo. Just when it looks like Godzilla has defeated Monster X, it transforms into Kaiser Ghidorah. A series of vicious attacks leaves Godzilla weakened, but in the end, he finds a way to destroy his foe once and for all. Number 7. Godzilla vs. the Mutos – Godzilla The finale of this monster movie sees Godzilla squaring off against two MUTOs, or massive, unidentified terrestrial organisms. These ancient species are nothing to scoff at, and manage to inflict plenty of damage. However, it doesn't take long for Godzilla to prove why he got top billing. The King of the Monsters finishes off the winged Muto by slamming it into a building before turning his attention to the female. 
Shockingly, Godzilla decides to let bygones be bygones and plants a smooch on the creature's lips. Okay, maybe we didn't describe that accurately. Truth be told, the real loser in this fight was the city of San Francisco. Number 6. King Kong vs. V-Rexes – King Kong Peter Jackson makes big movies. As such, he was the perfect fit to direct King Kong, which takes viewers on a journey to Skull Island and introduces them to dinosaurs, giant bugs, and, of course, Kong, the eighth wonder of the world. In order to demonstrate just how tough Kong is, Jackson pits him against not one, but three Vistatosaurus Rexes. Oh, and did we mention he has to do it while holding Ann Darrow in one of his giant hands? Taking place across multiple locations and featuring some truly epic CGI that still holds up today, King Kong's battle against the dinos is the stuff of legend. Number 5. Godzilla and Kong vs. Mechagodzilla – Godzilla vs. Kong What's better than the king of the lizards fighting King Kong? How about the two of them teaming up to fight an even deadlier enemy? This is how we, as species, win. Mechagodzilla was created as a weapon to fight all the giant monsters that keep popping up to terrorize humanity. But of course, his creator immediately loses control over him. Possessed by the consciousness of King Ghidorah, he's out for revenge against Godzilla. The lizard is no match for Mechagodzilla on his own. But fortunately, our heroes are able to revive Kong, who swoops in to save the day. <laughs> The Monsterverse is going to have a hard time topping this battle. Number 4. Godzilla and Mothra vs. King Ghidorah and Rodan – Godzilla, King of the Monsters For a monster fight that'll blow your socks off, look no further than 2019's Godzilla, King of the Monsters. The ending of this film sees Godzilla and Mothra going toe-to-toe -to -toe with King Ghidorah and Rodan in a battle to decide the fate of the Titans. With three heads to contend with, Godzilla initially appears outmatched. However, with the help of Monarch and Mothra, who sacrifices herself to save her atomic pal, Godzilla emerges victorious. With stunning visuals and an impactful story, Godzilla King of the Monsters proved that monster movies still have a place in the modern cinematic landscape. Number 3. King Kong vs. the T-Rex – King Kong Hey, look out! It's Kong! Kong's coming! On Skull Island, it's kill or be killed, since most of the population consists of giant monsters. I tell you, Skipper, this Kong is the biggest thing in the world! That can be pretty entertaining as long as you're not a damsel in distress. In this scene, King Kong does battle with the most fearsome of dinosaurs, the T-Rex. What do you call this thing? Why, something from the dinosaur family. Dinosaur, eh? Because it's 1933, the result is two stop-motion animated models throwing each other around, with King Kong using a classic judo flip. Then, in a brutal KO move, he cracks T-Rex's jaws right open. <laughs> While Peter Jackson's updated version of the fight might be more thrilling by today's standards, this was pretty darn great for the 30s and is still fun to watch today. Holy mackerel, what a show! Number 2. Earth Monsters vs. King Ghidorah – Destroy All Monsters An emergency! An emergency! Mothra has appeared in District Number 5! The filmmakers here really knocked it out of the park when it came to names. A burning monster is on its way! 
burning monster? I've never heard of one. When the world decides it's had enough of cities getting demolished, they ship all their kaiju to the appropriately named Monster Land. All the usual suspects show up to trade punches, including, of course, Godzilla. This is horrible. Listen to the monsters and their cries of horror and sudden death. Some aliens get involved and things get a bit wacky, but all the monsters must team up in the end to fight the dreaded King Ghidorah. It's Ghidorah. Ghidorah the space monster. He's going to attack them from the sky. It's like Toho's equivalent of the Avengers, resulting in one of the greatest giant monster fights of all time. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Godzilla vs. Destroya Godzilla vs. Destroya It's Godzilla! Look! When ancient organisms are gassed with an oxygen destroyer, a new giant monster is born. When will humans learn? Just look at him. He's crying. He can't understand why he's lost his family. This monster, aptly named Desteroya, meets Godzilla's offspring and the two have at it. It's not a baby anymore. It's an adult. See? Godzilla Jr. is here. Desteroya comes out victorious and Godzilla Sr. vows revenge. <laughs> This is where the real fight begins. Although Destoroya eventually grows bigger than the King of the Monsters, that doesn't bother Godzilla. He uses his atomic breath to weaken Destoroya, allowing the military to step in and take all the credit. My job is to unlock Godzilla. Godzilla then quietly explodes, and his resurrected son continues the family legacy. Doesn't make a ton of sense, but man, what a battle. What radioactivity? Which massive monster battle had you on the edge of your seat? Be sure to let us know in the comments. I hope we've seen the last of them for a long time. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.